a mainstream media's narrative is unfettered open borders immigration is uh, terrific. It has very few consequences. We should love it. It's the compassionate thing to do. We should let people into the country with no process at all. It should be chaos. Borders don't really matter. So anything you see that gets in the middle of that narrative, of course, they will not report on. Devastating story this weekend. Uh, Bishop Evans of Arlington, Texas, a hero. Hey, we don't see a lot of heroes, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry in our time. It's tough to find real honest-to-goodness heroes. But you got one right here, and you're looking at him if you're watching on Rumble. This is a tweet from Bill Malugin from Fox, who has been all over the immigration crisis. He was a 22-year-old Texas National Guard uh, member. Uh, he's missing since Friday. He's assumed drowned at this point in the Rio Grande and Eagle Pass after he jumped in to save lives, to save lives of people crossing the border and entering the country illegally. The photos are courtesy of his family. And uh, as it turns out, an update on the story we found out, um, it's really hard to talk about. The people he rescued were allegedly smuggling drugs into the country. You're looking at a real hero here, man. I want you to burn that onto your cerebral cortex, Bishop Evans. You know, and I get it. This has a real political tinge to it, the immigration debate. This story doesn't. This is an American citizen, a guy who jumped in and forfeited his own life for the life of another who was breaking the law to get here. You know, you would think a story like this would make people reevaluate their position on this. Unfortunately, it won't. We honor the memory of Bishop Evans. Thank you, sir, for your service to this great country. It's a damn shame we're not going to have more of you. Horrible story, folks. He loves ice cream. Tell me about that.